What's poppin'? Jack Harlow just announced that he is gonna be releasing a new album this Friday, so in only two days. This came out of nowhere, came out of the blue. So today, we gotta talk about this new album, Jackman. So let's move straight into this. If you wanna stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Real quick, if you don't wanna listen to this, make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future, but you can now sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description. It comes every Sunday and details everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week, so make sure to do that. So Jack Harlow is in a somewhat interesting position as I think because he was someone that we thought was going to be huge, was going to be the next big superstar, especially having and we can't deny the fact having a white guy in hip hop again that, you know, just like people like Mac Miller didn't really make much of his race and only was there for the music itself and had fun with it. That was nice, and you know we enjoyed watching his come up from what's popping to you know sundown even before that, and then he kind of made his way into the really commercial mainstream, having him on the Lil Nas X "Industry Baby" song, stuff like that really helped boost his career. But then he dropped that one album, then he dropped that first class, what was it called? Come Home, The Kids Miss You album, and there were a couple of really good tracks on there, but we just thought that it was going to be overall better. And so a lot of people were saying after that album dropped that he kind of fell off or that nobody really cared. A lot of the songs on the album are actually doing pretty well. As I said, first class, Dua Lipa, Nail Tech, stuff like that is still doing pretty well on streaming and commercial success, you know. But it wasn't something that really cemented his spot as someone that could come through on a consistent basis and deliver timeless projects. It was more so a reflection of whatever was, you know, he was trying to sound good in. But now apparently we're getting a new album in two days, which is big because the last one, he did do a, a big promotion for that, like billboards and everything. Now it's a, a pretty simple Instagram post, like two days before release. So let's take a look at this. So this right here is the announcement for the new album. He posted this a couple of hours ago and just said, Jack man my new album out this friday april 28th so april 28th obviously is in two days so we're getting it this friday destroy lonely is also dropping this friday but nobody really in that you know pop rap commercial scene so i'm guessing he could do pretty good numbers i don't want to throw out a prediction in here but i'm guessing 50k are in there easily if we see his past success translate into this one as well maybe you know he doesn't have a hardcore fan base anymore and a lot of people are just tuning in for the commercial aspect of it then it couldn't be that high i don't know we just have to wait and see but what's so interesting is obviously the, the short notice as to what you know when this is coming out because usually we would expect someone like jack harlow to drop a project that is way bigger in release especially also his connections now to major record labels they would probably want to push a single we got no single for this that is pretty huge as well you as i said he's connected a lot to like these big labels so they would want like a real a real release this seems like something that he made and he just wanted to put out for the fans of course there might be a strategy behind it and they might want us to think that but I like that. It seems a little bit more, you know, kind of he was working, he was working in the dark and now came out with this and wants people to hear that. But let's take a look at the album cover because a lot of people were already saying stuff about this. So the album cover obviously is him standing somewhere in some neighborhood, um, you know, topless. And uh, there's a basketball court in the upper right corner. We're going to get into that in a second. But a lot of people were clowning this and saying like, oh, he's just using some random topless, you know, shirtless picture. How is this an album cover? Like this is really lazy. Honestly, I think this looks pretty cool. I mean, it reminded me immediately of J. Cole, For Your Eyes Only. How was that album cover any more sophisticated? But it definitely conveyed, you know, the narrative of the story. And obviously, in the case of J. Cole, it was connected to the narrative of the story. We don't know if that's going to be the case with Jack Harlow. But don't judge a book by its cover. But I get why people are saying that. Because nowadays, people just take random photos, put like a grainy filter on it, and you can call it an album cover. But I mean, that's just kind of the way we're we're living in so a lot of people clowning the album cover i get where they're coming from but don't judge it as of right now now the way that i thought it was connected to the hoop was that also him starring in white men can't jump is coming out may 19th so that is only in two three further weeks um so three days after his album release 
he's starring like a big you know scene or big role in this new movie so i'm guessing also they could use that as promotional purposes vice versa for you know going both ways for the music or for the movie as well and i'm hoping and a lot of people are saying this that this is the album that Jack Harlow kind of redeems himself for that last album that a lot of people thought was lackluster because as I said we had high hopes high expectations for this guy when he first burst onto the scene but that last album really kind of threw it off the first one the first one that's what they all say that album was pretty good and I enjoyed it top to bottom every single instrumental on there and every single way that he used those instrumentals was unique and was kind of differentiating itself inside the track you can listen to every track and it all, every single one had its own character and what I find so funny about it is that that is exactly what he talks about in the documentary that he would you know kind of little documentary behind the scenes that he released for the last album come home the kids miss you he was talking about getting influence from Kanye and you know having that important to him that every single track has a character has some sort of uniqueness to it but then that album that he wanted to have that on really didn't have that compared to the one he dropped before I don't know if you're following me but that's what I thought and so I'm hoping he sticks to the same principle but this time the execution is actually pretty good on this one because I do believe Jack Harlow still has a lot of room for growth still has a lot of room for improvement when it comes to his artistic abilities a lot of people are saying that he should just wrap his ass off on this one I'm not sure if that's the best way to go. I think that he tried to do that on some of the songs on Come Home, The Kids Miss You. But what I really liked about That's What They All Say was that it really sounded like an old Drake album. Like the the, the very eerie synth-based instrumentals connected with like a storytelling in-your-ear kind of close vocal performance i thought that combination really brought that album to life and kind of had a narrative running through the whole thing and it was really pleasant to just listen to not a lot going on very minimalistic that's what i liked about it so him rapping his ass off could really work but i'm not sure if that's actually the way that he should go full on in this new one now the way that this seems as i said is kind of like a a DIY project that he just kind of put together so I'm not sure what features we can expect maybe not as big of a feature list on this one maybe just maybe him going solo I don't know but I'm not seeing this as like the big commercial album that is coming next maybe he's using this as an EP as something like that correct me if I'm wrong but that's the feeling that I get from it just from him announcing it two days prior to its release and also having this very amateur cover to it but at the end of the day all we can do is wait another two days and see what this album is actually about i will be live on twitch on friday to be listening to this album so make sure you join me there by clicking on the twitch link in the description it's also you know right here so that way you'll be there on friday and we can listen to this together over on twitch and have a live listening party which i'm really excited for but for now let me know what you think about this are you excited for a uh, jack man the new jack harlow album let me know your thoughts your expectations and your hopes for this in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.